many many years ago lived a girl named Khadija. Khadija was the daughter of the popular village porter and she had an older sister named Fatu. One day their mother Binta took them to her pottery to assist her as she had so many others to complete. Khadija and Fatu we are busy arranging the clay pots when Fatu broke a very expensive pot. Their mother rushed to see what had happened and she saw the shattered pot on the ground. She immediately began to shout at Khadija, her younger daughter, not caring to know who exactly broke the pot. When she finally realized that it was Fatu that broke the clay pot. She carried on shouting at Khadija, saying that she was certain that Khadija made her elder sister to break the pot. Her actions made Khadija so sad as she could not understand why her mother would shout at her for something she clearly did not do. Not long after, Khadija and Fatu went to the river side to buy some fish for their mother. A young fisherman approached Fatu and they began to talk for hours. Khadija signaled her sister for them to go as it was getting late, but her sister ignored her and continued to talk to the young fisherman. They spoke for several hours and it was already getting dark. All this while, Khadija waited in the corner for her sister as she believed her sister would get into a lot of trouble if she returned home alone. When Fatu and the young fisherman finished conversing, the sisters headed home and met their mother furiously waiting for them outside her hut. She asked where they had been and why they spent so many hours away. Fatu and Khadija kept mute as they both could not tell their mother the reason for the delay. Their mother, Binta, then concluded that it had to be Khadija's fault and went on to starve her of food, not considering that the fault could actually be from Fatu. Fatu was however rewarded for her wrong as her mother Binta provided a huge meal for her and she consumed the meal without remorse for her sister who was being punished for what she did not do. Fatu was Binta's favorite daughter who reminded her of her lovely husband who passed away many years ago. Her love for Fatu made it hard for her to fault her for any wrong. Khadija, although being her last child, was never treated fairly. This was because Binta blamed Khadija for her husband's death. Khadija was born on the day that her husband had a fatal accident and died. She had just given birth and her husband was on his way to buy some items for the baby when he got hit by a car and died. Binta blamed Khadija for the death of her husband and this rid her of every motherly love she would have shown to Khadija. She used every given opportunity to punish her even when Khadija was innocent. This went on for so many years. And Khadija wondered why her mother always blamed her for the actions of her elder sister, Fatu. Gradually, Khadija began to withdraw from her sister to avoid being punished for things she knew she never did. She began to work harder as she had plans of succeeding in the village. Every morning, 
Whilst Fatu was still asleep, Khadija would leave the house to go hawk fruits on the streets. She did this for several months and was able to save up some money she used to learn how to bake from the popular village baker. Her sister Fatu would lay idle at home waiting for their mother to provide her every need. Fatu became so lazy and spoilt, whilst Khadija grew to be a very hard-working girl who stopped relying on their mother, Binta, for her daily needs. Soon later, a very rich man in the village saw how hard-working Khadija was and paid an interest in her. He decided to visit her family on one sunny afternoon to declare his intentions to marry Khadija. But her mother was not pleased, as she wanted the rich man to marry her first daughter, Fatu, instead. Binta began to tell the rich man horrible things about Khadija to take his mind off her, as she rather told him pleasing things about her favorite daughter, Fatu. The rich man, on hearing the terrible things about Khadija, changed his mind about marrying her. Binta then told her daughter, Fatu, to go after the rich man to make him fall in love with her. Fatu succeeded in winning the rich man's heart as she pretended to be hard-working and kind. Soon later, the rich man married Fatu and her mother Binta was so happy as her plan had worked. Khadija, all this while, was unaware of all that transpired with the rich man, as the rich man never got an opportunity to speak with her before her mother told him horrible things about her. Few months later, Khadija opened up her own small bakery and people began to patronize her business as she baked one of the best breads in the village. One day, a young handsome man came to buy some freshly baked bread from the bakery. He caught sight of Khadija and could not take his mind off her. Every morning, the young man would stop by the bakery, pretending to buy some loaves of bread, just to steal a glance of Khadija. He did this for weeks and was now head over heels in love with her. One morning, the young man made up his mind to approach Khadija to tell her how he felt about her. What the young man did not know was that Khadija had also noticed him weeks ago and was hoping he approached her soon. When the young man walked up to Khadija, her eyes lit up in joy as he asked what her name was. Khadija, my name is Khadija, she said, and the young man introduced himself as Bakari. They began to talk and the more they conversed, the deeper they fell in love with each other. Soon later, Bakari asked Khadija to marry him, and she accepted in a heartbeat. They both proceeded to see her family, for Bakari to declare his intentions to marry Khadija. Her mother did not dispute the marriage, as Bakari did not look so rich. Shortly afterwards, Khadija and Bakari got married and they both lived happily. Khadija's bakery became well known and she began to make so much money in sales. Her husband too prospered in his business and soon later became so popular and rich. Khadija's sister Fatu could no longer stay in her rich husband's house. As he began to beat and talk down on her at every given opportunity. Few weeks after they got married, 
the rich man noticed that all the good things he heard about Fatu from her mother was a lie and this agitated him greatly. The marriage crashed after one year and Fatu returned to live with her mother. Her mother Binta regretted all her actions and wished she never forced Fatu to marry the rich man. However, Binta's wickedness towards her second daughter Khadija pushed her to become more hardworking as Khadija became so successful in life and had a stable and lovely family, unlike her overpampered and lazy sister Fatu, who lived a purposeless life. The lesson to be learned from this story is that parents should not play favorites with their kids as this can have a negative effect on the relationship between the siblings. Do not transfer an aggression to a child or punish a child for a situation that they had no hand in. Learn to love your children equally and teach them the right way to live. Train up a child in the way that he should go so that when he grows, he will not depart from it. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.